Hello, my name is Hadrian Parker, and I am a Senior Analytic Training Consultant with Analysis Prime University. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to create a table to store data in Datasphere. In this tutorial, you will learn how to understand the use of tables in Datasphere, understand how semantic usage will change how your table can be used, configure member attributes for different types of data, then deploy a table so it can be utilized. And finally, add in the table data. Tables let Datasphere store datasets that differ from the data source connected to Datasphere. This could be from flat CSV files or from transformed or merged data through Dataflow. To create a table, open Datasphere and select Data Builder. If required, select your database space. Select New Table. All data objects in Datasphere require a business name and a technical name. The business name is the display name and should be end user friendly. This table will hold company data for customers, so the business name is customer details. The technical name is the unique ID for the table. Note, once saved, only the business name can be changed. The semantic usage of a table lets Datasphere understand how the table will be used. Rational datasets can hold any data in columns. Dimensions have member attributes and require at least one of these attributes to be a unique ID. Analytical datasets like dimensions have attributes with a unique ID, but also hold at least one measure with numeric information for calculations. Analytical datasets are often used as fact tables in a star schema. Text tables add a translation layer for other tables and views. Hierarchy tables hold a parent-child relationship between member attributes in other tables and views. Customer data contains customers with a unique ID and location details about the company HQ. As such, a dimension table will be a good fit. Under Attributes, select Add Column. This will be the unique ID for the table, so check the key box for it. The business name is Customer ID. Data Type lets the system know what type of data is being stored in the database. As this is text that is always seven characters long, Select String with a length of seven characters. Now we can add an attribute for each column in the table. Company name is a long string with less than 100 characters. This is the same for city ID and city name. State ID is always two characters. State name and country are also longer strings. The last two fields hold the latitude and longitude values for the city location. The data type for these needs to be a decimal. Decimal float will work here. Now click save. You will have one chance to modify the technical name. Click Save. Deploying the table will present it to your space to be used by other applications. Click Deploy.
Once deployed, data can be loaded onto the table. To upload CSV data, select the Upload button. Click Choose File and find and import your CSV file. Match the columns on the CSV file to the columns on the table. Then import the data. To view the data, activate the Data Viewer. You do not need to save or deploy as no changes to the configuration have been made. Select the Data Builder app. You may need to reselect the space. Your deployed table should be shown. In this tutorial, we covered how to create a table in Datasphere, change the semantic usage to configure the table, configure the data type for each member, then deploy a table, and finally, upload data from a CSV file. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, click the like button below. You can also view our growing catalog of self-paced courses, tutorials, webinars, and join the community forum by creating your free account at analysisprimeuniversity.com.